The sound of blues music resonates in St. Louis. That genre laid the foundation for others like rock and roll, hip hop, and pop. And in downtown St. Louis, there is a special place dedicated to exploring blues history. News Force Kristen Cornett takes us to the National Blues Museum and learns how it's making St. Louis proud. <laughs> Since its origins in the Deep South long ago, the blues has been a bedrock for virtually all American popular music of the last hundred plus years. St. Louis is a blues hotspot, and the National Blues Museum in downtown St. Louis was created to celebrate it. Why is the National Blues Museum in St. Louis? Because it wanted to bring attention to St. Louis. There are other blues museums around the country, but nothing national like we've attributed here and all the wonderful memorabilia that you see here is just, just a step above the others. When you enter the museum, there's a theater showing a short movie that gives an intro to the blues. Everybody wanna know what I sing the blues. Blues music surrounds us all the time. It is the basis um, for all American and world music today. It inspired rock and roll and country music. And a lot of times people come here and they'll be like, wow, like, I didn't know that artists started in blues or I didn't realize that this was a cover of a blues song. As you walk through the museum, you'll learn about the origins and history of the genre. The story of the blues begins in the late 1800s in the Deep South. All those suitcases symbolize how the blues migrated throughout the country. In the early 1900s, during what's called the Great Migration, African Americans left the Deep South to escape Jim Crow laws and find better opportunities. The music went with them and its influence spread throughout the country. Displays at the museum highlight the different instruments used in playing the blues. One display that jumped out at me is this wall of harmonicas. It's called a Mississippi saxophone. Another section of the museum delves into how the blues gave birth to about every modern form of popular music you can think of, especially rock and roll. You'll learn about how bands like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and many others were influenced by the blues. This display is devoted to Chuck Berry. It includes his guitar and some of his stage attire. And this fun little interactive exhibit shows his famous duck walk. There's many digital and interactives throughout the museum where you can become a blues legend. You can stop at different stations from the lyrics, the harmonica, the guitar, piano, and then you end in the mix it up room. The museum hosts a rotating collection of exhibits. On display right now is Cigar Box Guitars, 21st Century. It features over 50 fully functional homemade instruments. There's even a few they'll let you play. We also put on live music three times a week. A free open jam is held every Thursday night. And ticketed shows every Friday and Sunday. That's when I Few forms of American music can claim a history as long, as tradition rich, and as complex as the blues. And now St. Louis and the National Blues Museum will work to keep the blues living history alive. Kristen Cornett, News 4. The National Blues Museum hosts live music shows throughout the weekend. If you're interested in going, we'll have those details on how you can buy tickets online at KMOV.com.